Maybe to some degree it's out of style to define yourself, but I, uh, you know, in one of those categories, but I mean, I consider myself a sculptor um, without a doubt. You know, I, I think even for me, the, the flat work that I've been doing is all about three-dimensional space. It's all about sort of the relationship of two-dimensional to three-dimensional and taking the two-dimensional and, and bringing it into, you know, three-dimensional space. So it's, um, you know, Hyde is a, at its root, is a figurative sculpture, really. So it, I, I definitely uh, consider myself a, a sculptor. I, I, you know, I, I think about, I think about problems as a sculptor. You know, so I that, that's how I approach the work. Usually, it it starts with something really simple that I just find curious. You know, just in in everyday life. Um, you know, the with high that piece really. I can trace it back to grad school where I was just peeling an orange or a clementine and I, I have this tendency to always peel them in a spiral and and when you in one piece and it's just really satisfying to do that so when when you peel it and you get this spiral and you lay it flat it becomes a spiral s you know so the, the radius breaks in the sphere and it and it spirals and then it breaks and then it spirals the other way so you get this really beautiful spiral s and so that translation from three-dimensional to two-dimensional, there's a transformation that occurs and it becomes something somewhat unexpected. I mean, that's a really simple uh, idea, but, and that, that's, that's kind of why I was saying I think about things as a sculptor, you know, that this transition of, of three-dimensional to two-dimensional or two-dimensional to three-dimensional, there's information that's gained and information that's lost, but a transformation occurs either way.